Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. This time we're taking a look at another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure from the Nickelodeon series, and it's Raph the Barbarian, the Dwarf Barbarian actually. Live action roleplay figure, and I love this set. Um, you know, as I stated before, I am a big role playing guy. I mean, um, that was, you know, I still on occasion will get together with some guys and, and we do the role playing thing with the dice and the paper and the books and all the good nerdy stuff. But uh, this series of toys is actually based off an episode called uh, Mazes and Mutants, which is a takeoff of Dungeons and Dragons. And in fact, when you see the Mazes and Mutants book in the episode, it's the original Dungeons and Dragons book from the late 70s, early 80s. And that's me. That's my generation. I, you know, I was there with my friends in the basement and the kitchen and living room and we were playing Dungeons and Dragons growing up and then as I became a teenager in college in my adult years, you know, we played other role-playing games like Call of Cthulhu, Star Trek, Star Wars, Spycraft, uh, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, in Star Wars, you know, it, it's fun. Angel, Buffy, all those things. Really great stuff. Um, and this was probably my favorite episode period of the Turtles uh, they find a copy of this game in the sewer, and they start playing like a bunch of teenagers and geeking out. Raph, he's kind of the cool one, doesn't really get into it as much as the others, but he's still playing. And, you know, it's 20-sided dice, and, and it's it's awesome. And, of course, Splinter can't figure out why they want to play it, you know, the whatever kids, <laughs> which what my parents were like. And plot of the episode. So if you haven't seen it, stop watching this and go watch the episode because uh, they then get into live action role play, which again, beyond me, I never got into that. That was after, uh, you know, I got out of childhood and I just, that, that just wasn't me. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've seen it. I've seen people do it. I know people are into it. And the turtles decide to do this and there's a mutant that drags them into the actual quest they're playing, which is just fantastic. Again, best episode they've ever had on the show, in my opinion. The other cool thing is we get to see these weird, wacky costumes, which kind of harks back to the original Turtles line, uh, toy line, but these were actually in the show, unlike a lot of those, and the new series has a bunch of variations of the Turtles in different costumes now as well, but not as bad as the original toy line. The only time I've seen them do a costume from the show, um, I think was one of the other, the uh, mid-2000s or late-2000s um, Turtles television show where Raphael dressed up in a black biker outfit and a black helmet and rode a bike around at night as a vigilante. And uh, they did make a figure of that, and it looked really, really cool. So this particular figure here, he is a barbarian dwarf, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's take a look at the package itself. We'll get him out and see what we think of the figure itself. Here's the kind of the wide shot. It's the same exact uh, blister package that we see on all the other figures. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's got the shell uh, box with the standard artwork there. There's Raph in package, which is really, really cool. Now, off the cuff, things I noticed, um, well, first we got... Raph the Barbarian and live action role play. Um, looking at this picture, again, I think this the prototypes were made prior to the actual show. I'm not really sure. Um, there were huge differences on Leonardo. Um, I think this one is, it's got uh, what Octobotamus calls play school syndrome and the fact we see a lot of paint detail on the belt but the actual figure, there's nothing. And if you notice on the axe here, uh, it's just gray plastic, whereas on the back of the package, uh, when you look, it actually has paint detail. So, yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, looking at the back of the package, here is a wide shot. Again, same format. Uh, we've got a little card and bio, and then all the figures that are available. Um, he does have a different bio than Leo, so we'll sit and... Uh, let you pause and read that if you would like to. You are welcome to. And then, again, here are all the LARP turtles, the different figures, Dojo Splinter. I really like the Neutralizer. I think I'm going to pick that figure up. Um, and then on this side, the other figures. The Robot Foot Soldier looks kind of interesting. Um, and then we got Tiger Claw. And I'm interested to see what he looks like. I did see a Slash, and I was going to buy him, but upon looking at that figure in actual store, it was kind of disappointing, which is a shame because I really liked that figure. Uh, in the original 
series. So let's get Wrath the Barbarian out of package and see what we think. All right, so here we have Wrath out of package. And I do like it. Uh, it's very well done. Now, much like Leonardo, um, Leo the Knight, he is a completely different mold than his original uh, release in this toy line. Um, the head is way more screen accurate than we had in the original figure set. Again, I think the original figure set was a bit more uh, an homage to the original series, uh, whereas this is way more show accurate glorious detail on the figure. Um, it is not a retool, not a redeco, but a completely new sculpt. Um, the hands look a lot different. The uh, knee pads and the elbow pads way different. Much more simplistic as are his toes and his hands. Um, again, a more show accurate, I think. And the detail on this guy um, just looks really, really great. I love his little scowl. He's got this car piece of carpet that's kind of all around. I love the belt. It's a shame they didn't put the paint apps on there. That would have been really, really nice. Um, and then, unfortunately, they did not paint uh, that side of the shell. Um, it just doesn't really match up too much with that. But, I mean, it's the back side. You're never really going to see that much. But the boots, I love the furry boots. Um, the fur and straps around the wrists just look really really nice he's got really good articulation um it, you know just just beautiful stuff i think they just did a fantastic job and of course like leo he's got hollow feet so um yeah uh very cool stuff i really do dig him he stands a little bit better than leo too um really really nice and then we've got his uh barbarian helmet uh, which is pretty cool. It's it's really supposed to be just um, an, uh, a strainer uh, on top, a collier, uh, and then it's got the little horns on it, and then it's got this skull, and I love how they kept the skull. Um, that was really, really cool, and then he's got the little kind of drape down there. So, um, and of course, you got to have the, the red for the helmet, uh, or the uh, bandana. Now, with this guy, uh, you want to kind of slide this piece here, to go around his little bandana in the back and then that will sit on his head as such and wow look at that how awesome is that he looks really really cool um just really nice i, I and he's a little wider the carpet's a little lighter than it was i think in the actual tv show but it's actually more screen accurate than the leo uh, because the shoulder pads had changed on leo um, at some point so that's pretty cool stuff. I mean, he just looks, just looks amazing. It's, I love these. I love this set. Uh, mainly because I am a, a huge geek and, uh, you know, I love Dungeons and & Dragons and the fact that they put these figures together just makes me so happy. So here he is. Let's grab the original Raphael from uh, this toy line. So as you can see, completely different head sculpt. Um, totally different hand, show, uh, feet, pads, everything. Totally different figure. Uh, just to pull the uh, helmet there so you can kind of see the two different head sculpts. Um, show accurate versus non-show accurate, uh, which is pretty darn cool. And then here, of course, is his movie counterpart. Um, very, very cool stuff. Uh, all three Raphaels together. I just, I love it. I think it's just so much fun. Um, I'm so glad that they decided to put this set together. Um, it just, it's just really, really nice. So here he is with Leo the Knight. Um, i get him in frame a little bit better. So there are the two turtles uh, from the LARPing episode, Mazes and Mutants. Definitely cool stuff. So is this something that you want in your collection? Absolutely. And, you know, I'm going to say that about uh, right now about every single one of these figures. If you're a Turtles fan, you're definitely going to want this. If you're a geek, a role-playing geek, you're definitely going to like this. Um, they're just fun. They're $8.88, no more than $9.99. Um, if you can find all four of them, definitely get them. Now, um, I got this guy in the Greenwood Walmart on the south side of Indianapolis. I'd actually seen three of the four at another Walmart in the south side of Indy and um, up at Meyer and Carmel, north side of Indiana. 
um, but they didn't have the Donatello. So I'm thinking Donatello was the short pack. I passed both of those up and was fortunate enough to run across a full set of four. Because, I mean, let's face it, that's what you want, all four turtles. So uh, definitely pick it up. It'll look great on your shelf. They're fun. They're goofy. They're what toys are supposed to be. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, definitely thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Um, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And as always, look for more videos in the future.